Right, today we're going to talk about the importance of sharpening a knife. So for this, you're going to need a knife and the steel. So, the perfect way to sharpen a knife is you have to start from the back of the knife and go all the way to the front of the knife. Now this makes sure the whole knife is sharpened. So when you get used to the top, you go to the bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, bottom. The importance of this, your hand guard, is always keep your hands behind that line. Otherwise, if you're over that side, you're not protected at all. Now it's important to make sure your knife is sharp because when you're cutting and cooking, it's a lot more dangerous to have a very blunt knife. It slides off the, uh, whatever you're cutting, especially onions, really bad for. So, top, bottom, top, bottom. And that's how you sharpen a knife. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to dice an onion. So first, I'm going to sharpen my knife. You should do every single time you cut before. So, I've left the head of the onion on because it stops your eyes watering um, because the onion doesn't bleed. And also, it's a lot easier to cut when you've got the head on. So, cut down the middle. And now, what you want to do is three finger roll. It'll make sure you don't cut your fingers off. Just nice slices as close as you can to the head of the onion. And now, you're going to go a little angle, straight through, and again, only going just close to the end. Now push the onion together, three finger roll, and cut down. So slide straight through and you've got perfectly diced onions. So right to the end of the onion, right down, and then you can get those extra bits that are right next to the end. And all you're left with is a very small bit of onion you throw away. That's a perfect way to dice an onion. Right, now I'm going to show you how to de the tomato. So, what you do, there's two different ways for this. So now, put a slice straight on the middle, so you're left like this. Get a spoon and just spoon all the seeds out, push them away, perfectly de-seeded. My preferred way is cut it in half, cut it in quarters, and cut the bottom of the tomato and then slice up and then just quickly slide the rest of the seeds out. That's how you de-seed a tomato. Right now I'm going to show you how to deconstruct a chicken. So start the whole chicken first, leg, just cut that away both sides. Now pull, hear that bone crack, go round the meat there, one leg, done, turn it around, pop, bone out, and when you get behind, get that lovely piece of meat there, second, done, now the wings. You want to find where the bone is. One wing. Find where the bone is, go around. Two wings. Wings go straight out in there. You want to find the bone. There. Put some pressure on. Same again. Right, 
have a part of the chicken breast around the middle of the chicken knife use the end of the knife more for this find the wishbone straight down now you want as much meat as you can on here so follow the carcass all the way down Same again on the other side. Like I said, I need to tip on my knife for this. And now also there's a little bit here which is called the chicken oyster. It's a beautiful part of the chicken and cut them off. Got two wings, two legs, two thighs, two breasts, two chicken oysters. That's how you deconstruct a chicken.